Hi my beauties, happy Tuesday. So I'm about to film a YouTube video for you guys educating you on the new Cyton laser. So Cyton's new laser that we have in our office and we're offering to patients is the Erbium laser. This is a powerful, amazing device and I can't wait to share our results with you and I'm about to film this video right now before starting a full clinic. So we have a busy day today, lots of laser cases, energy-based devices, combination laser treatments, all the things. So it's gonna be a busy Tuesday but I just want to give you guys a heads up to keep an eye out for that YouTube video that I'm about to film and post this weekend about the Erbium because it is next level you guys I can't wait to share it with you when other lasers aren't enough this is what we reach for because it is the most transformative laser I've ever experienced in my 20-year history of being a cosmetic dermatologist and laser specialist so after watching this video hopefully you'll become a little bit more familiar with the Erbium laser by Cyton and there are different modes to this laser so whether you want a deep really aggressive resurfacing or whether you want a little fine tuning profractional or whether you want just a little tlc around the mouth where you have etched in lip lines or smokers lines or whether you want to just customize it to maybe smoothing out under eye fine lines and wrinkles this laser is for you and i cannot wait to introduce it to you and i'm so happy we finally have it in our practice so let me start by saying by the time a laser makes it into my office in my private practice it has stood the test of time it has jumped through the hoops and the hoops are different assessments real life results allowing me to use these lasers and see the results on my live patients in addition to randomized controlled trials and recommendations from very my highly esteemed colleagues in this industry and in academic meetings so when people ask me about a laser like dr Happel, have you heard of such and such laser if i haven't heard of it or if it's not getting a lot of buzz at academic meetings from the laser specialists and the world-renowned laser specialists it's usually not worth my time or worth my patient's time nor would i want to use it as a you know a treatment option for patients so the cyton Erbium laser. It has a profractional and it has another option called TRL on it. And the reason why I wanted this laser is because a lot of my patients now because of YouTube will fly in to see me. They're here for a very limited amount of time. And some of these patients haven't taken care of their skin at all and really need like a, just a big overhaul, like a one and done aggressive treatment, like get my skin primed and ready after neglecting it for 60 or 70 years. And I needed a heavy duty laser for that. Also, this laser is a whiz at erasing perioral rites or what we call smoker's lines. And those lines, when they're really etched in and they're really severe, so this laser isn't for people who just want like a little tune-up or like a little refresher, you know, CO2 fractionated or uh, the Fraxel Restore may be a better option for those patients. But for patients who really need like an overhaul, like a one and done more aggressive treatment, it's a lot more downtime. It's a lot more uncomfortable. So we have to give, you know, sedative medications um, either orally or, you know, with local nerve blocks and local numbing. So it is a big of a, and more of an endeavor. The bigger the laser, meaning like the more aggressive it is, the more downtime, the more discomfort, which we can do with pain control and then the more significant the results but a lot of my patients in my office here in newport beach you know they're really on top of their skincare and they're on their a game and they don't really need like a very heavy duty powerful laser like this but for my my beauties who maybe fly in from other parts of the country or other parts of the world that are here for a limited amount of time and just need to hit it hard and go big this is the laser for them so if that's something that you're interested in um hopefully this video will be educational for you but again with great power comes a great responsibility with a very powerful laser high level of training to perform and operate these lasers so you're not going to find this laser on every street corner and in many spas but you will find them in offices that have laser specialists laser surgeons usually fellowship trained dermatologists who have advanced training in lasers now what does that mean a lot of people ask me a lot of the times dr Kappel, what does it mean that you're fellowship trained after going through a residency in dermatology and passing your boards and being a board certified dermatologist which you guys should all look for when you're seeing a provider make sure they're board certified in dermatology but advanced laser fellowship training is doing an extra year or two of fellowship training where you're just doing lasers and you're doing it while you're being proctored by a world-renowned laser expert who's behind your back watching every move quizzing you testing you and you have to log these cases in online it's something called the ACGME and you have to log in like a thousand v-beam cases a thousand halo cases a thousand fraxel cases and by doing that you come out of that fellowship so highly trained and lasers with all skin types all types of patients all different kinds of lasers and devices that there's nothing really that comes close to that so to find a fellowship trained 
laser specialist is you know really really important especially when we're talking about the laser that i'm talking about in this video which is the erbium ablative laser by cyton so the two laser options on this platform that we just incorporated into our practice are the trl which stands for the tunable laser resurfacing which is a full field ablative laser now when i say full field i mean when you have a spot size like an area treated by the laser handpiece it takes out that whole first layer of skin so it doesn't poke little holes or have microthermal zones like a fractionated laser does. So that's the difference between when I say full field or fractionated. Fractionated lasers just treat a fraction of the skin and they're also very effective, but there's usually less downtime and there's less discomfort because you're only treating segments or a fraction of the skin. You're not treating the full field or the whole surface area. So the difference between a full field and a fractionated laser is that the laser that is full field is a little bit more aggressive, which means a little bit more discomfort, a little bit more downtime. And don't worry, the discomfort is usually mitigated by you know very adequate pain control. And it just is a little bit more aggressive. So you can kind of think of lasers as full field versus fractionated. And that is a difference between the strength of the lasers. However, there's several parameters on lasers that you can adjust. If you have a full field laser that's not as deep, you can have a fractionated laser that's not treating the full field, but just treating fractions of it, but it's deeper. And so that might be more powerful. So there's so many different options and parameters that you can change on these lasers. Sometimes we do a combination of both. Sometimes you can do, you know, like a full field uh, treatment around the mouth, but for areas where there's like maybe one really bad etched in line here, and then maybe there's a really bad etched in line right here, then you can use a certain setting that changes the spot size or the treatment area that's in the line shaped to the the width of the actual righted or wrinkle that's etched in and you can kind of keep etching or erasing that wrinkle which is amazing so it really is a very customizable laser and it's one of the only devices that i've ever seen in my career and again i've been doing this for almost 20 years now that can really erase these perioral righteds. And that's the reason why I wanted to get this laser platform. For my beauties who I may not see every day and who have really neglected their skin or have these etched in lines, especially around the mouth, smoker's lines, and then especially like really etched in or um, really severe creepiness or wrinkles under the eyes, which is gonna be a little bit more work than just a fraxel or a fractionated CO2 can perform. Now this is different. So for my beauties who are more preventative or maybe have really fine lines and wrinkles but not too severe under the eyes then we'll go with a less aggressive laser but the erbium is for you know people who want a one-time treatment and just more effective treatment with uh, more appreciable you know results but that comes with the cost of added downtime and discomfort so usually when you have this treatment the downtime is at least two weeks other lasers are usually more like a week and usually when you come in for a laser treatment with the erbium um, we have you come in with a driver and we give you medications to kind of sedate you and calm you down and there is a significant downtime for about two weeks after the laser treatment, you're a little bit pink and you're a little bit red that lasts a little bit longer than that two week period. We can usually reverse that pinkness or what we call in dermatology erythema with a V-beam. So it, these are good things to know. If you you know see these before and afters with this amazing laser, just know that there is you know a lot of downtime and there is a lot of hand holding after the treatment. It's not just like a fractionated CO2 or you know a fractal restore that you kind of just walk out of here and you're good for like a week and we'll see you back and make sure that everything's okay. It does require a little bit more intense aftercare, which I will go over in this video. So we talked about the Contour TRL, which is a tunable laser resurfacing. And then the other option on this laser platform is called the Perfractional option. And that treats a fraction of the skin. It's not the full field treatment. And it's better for, you know, fine lines and wrinkles resurfacing, but not those really deep etched in lines or not that really severely photo damaged skin that we really need to overhaul. But it's a little bit more aggressive and a little bit better results than like a fractional restore. But again, with it comes a little bit more more downtime, a little bit more discomfort requiring more analgesic medication than the Fraxel Restore. So to be able to have in a practice like a full spectrum of different laser options is really, really nice. You have the Clear and Brilliant, which is almost no pain, no downtime, and a little almost like a baby laser, baby Fraxel facial, if you want to call it that. Then you have a jump up from the Clear and Brilliant to the Fraxel Restore, which is a non-ablative fractionated device. And then you have the ablated fractionated CO2, which kind of takes it up a notch. And then you have the erbium, which can have those two modalities, the profractional, which is fractionated, again, just treating a segment of the skin or a fraction of the skin, 
or the contour TRL, which is like a full field, more intense treatment. So being able to have different lasers to kind of customize the treatments give the best results and is just the most rewarding part of being a laser specialist because, you know, sometimes people will have perioritis that are really severe around the mouth and then a little bit more creepiness under the eyes but the rest of their face is fine but they have some acne scars on the cheek here and then they have some brown spots on the forehead and some brown spots on the hand you can literally use these lasers almost like an artist would use different paintbrushes to get the goals that you want and that's where the true art of medicine comes in and that's where the true um, joy of being a laser specialist comes in because we can really just customize different combinations of lasers that can all be done on the same day to just really customize each patient's experience. So moving to the Erbium again, um, after using this laser and going through like intense training with different um, uh, you know, from the company, when you buy a laser straight from the company, it comes with training that you almost have to get certified in before even performing this laser. So you won't find this laser in like many spas because first of all, many spas usually don't buy lasers directly from the company. You know, they cut costs by buying it from like a third party laser broker, which is bad for two reasons. Sometimes these third party laser brokers are selling old refurbished devices that are not, you know, meeting um, the quality standards in medicine that they should. And then also they may be swapping out refurbished parts, which is why you have complications with certain devices like Thermage. You know, somebody may have like an old Thermage from 2007 that's gonna reach temperatures that are too hot and melt the fat. You combine that with a mid-level who's not appropriately trained and it's just like a recipe for disaster. But for like this laser, we bought it straight from the company and they have to go through like certification and you have to prove to them that you can safely and effectively use this laser, which is great because that provides accountability and checks and balances in medicine medicine um, for providers to be able to provide you know standard of care to their patients with limiting complications and side effects so when going through the certification with this la for this laser it was really eye-opening and it was really great for me to see these results and push this laser to the extreme to show these amazing results that it can produce so it's been um, really fun having this laser in the office for the last couple of months and um, you know we'll, we'll be posting more before and afters as we have this um, in our repertoire for you know the months and months to come as well but we've been really really happy with it so things to know about the Cyton Erbium there's two options the more aggressive option or combination that we can use with this laser really can help with those etched in lines so people with perioral retids it just knocks it out of the park people with sun damaged skin who have neglected their skin up to this point this is the laser for you so we have our beautiful patient here today we're gonna to be doing an Erbium treatment on her her biggest concern was kind of the perioral retids and then also when you smile smile for me just these little lines right here that are a little bit bothersome to her and the Erbium is a little bit more intense of a treatment and we can kind of customize it and specialize the treatment to have a little bit more aggressive treatments in the areas where she needs a little bit more TLC. <laughs> So what to expect when you come in for an Erbium laser treatment? Usually it's an in-office procedure and we like you to come in with a driver so that we can give you something to calm you and relax you that we don't want you to drive home on. But it helps just calm the nerves and gives you a more peaceful experience. And we give you something to sedate you or to relax you. And then we typically do local anesthetic. So we'll inject um, local anesthetic. We also give you topical numbing cream as well. And then if we're going to be doing a little bit more aggressive treatment around the mouth for the perioral rightids or the smokers lines we do a nerve block so it's kind of like a dental block so you'll be pretty numb after the procedure for several hours and the nerve block is actually given through inside the mouth into the mucosa up in here and we give you injections um, above the eye underneath the eye but we get to it from inside the mouth and we give it to you um, down below in the kind of jaw area and this provides really adequate anesthesia because when you're kind of peeling away layers of the skins and you're going skin and you're going layer by layer you want to have adequate anesthesia so that we can go deeper and deeper and deeper and I remember um, asking one of my mentors how do you know when to like stop and he was like when the wrinkles gone and I'm like wow you can see the wrinkle be erased even those deep etched in textured lines on like around the mouth and on the chin and he's like yeah you stop when the wrinkle is gone and lo and behold that's actually what we do and it's incredible so to be able to provide that service for people um, for my patients is really really rewarding but of course you need to have adequate anesthesia and that comes with usually a dental or a nerve block to kind of adequately sedate that area so that you don't feel that discomfort and then even after the fact 
it may sting or burn or feel tingly for several hours afterwards, but with that nerve block, usually that anesthesia will carry you for the hours afterwards so that you don't have too much discomfort. Usually for um, post laser, um, you know, pain management will give extra strength Tylenol, Advil, or, you know, sometimes we can give a prescription strength, but usually that's just not necessary. Most of our patients have been just fine with some extra strength Tylenol. So, um, you know, it's, it's more for the immediate after and for the during the procedure that pain control is most important. And that's achieved with local anesthetic nerve blocks and also topical numbing cream. I think the best thing about this laser, it, it is really unique in what it can do, what it can perform. I mean, would you have etched in perioral lines or really significantly sun damaged skin, there's no amount of surgery or injectables that's gonna fix that, right? I mean, I think the only thing you can do for like say a textured chin or like that texture of the pewter orange where your skin looks like an orange peel or those really etched in lines, there's no surgery that's gonna fix that. And filler is not always an option because A, it sometimes doesn't always do the job and then B, you don't wanna have that Marge Simpson look. And then C, there's no amount of facelift or surgery or nip and tuck you can do that's gonna make that etched in textured weathered skin look like baby skin again. So to be able to have that tool in our toolbox and that laser in our armamentarium is really um, is really great for our whole profile in our office. And I'm so excited that I can finally provide this for patients. And I remember there's actually one patient in, in particular who was my incentive to get this laser for. And it was a woman who had followed me on YouTube. So she wasn't you know a local um, patient around here, but she had found me on YouTube and she came in to see me. And you know I have lasers to kind of erase those perioral lines, but it took multiple treatments. I'm like, I wish I had this one and done. I could do this laser and just erase these lines and one of my esteemed colleagues and good friend posted um, this laser and I was just, I contacted her right away and I was just like, what did you do? How did you erase these lines? And she kind of gave me her protocol and laser specialist to laser specialist, it's like a language that we speak. If I were to tell anybody these settings, they wouldn't even know what to do with it. I mean, it just takes a high level of skill to really achieve results like that and a, a very powerful laser to do that. But in the right hands, with the right provider, with the right patient and with the right device, which is the Erbium Cyton Contour TRL, we're able to do it. And so that's very gratifying. So introducing my new baby and the latest, you know, new kid on the block that we have in our office. Um, I hope this provides some information for you. Drop a comment in the comment section if you want to learn more. And if you want me to do just kind of like an all comprehensive laser video for those of you who are new to lasers or want to learn a little bit more about lasers, I'm happy to do that too. Just drop a comment in the comment section and let me know. And um, we can maybe even film that for you next week, depending on if you guys are interested in that or anything else you want me to talk about. All right, you guys, I love you. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment in the comment section and share this video with someone who may find it useful. As always, I love you guys.